I think every day should be International Leopard Day. I mean, you know they're incredible from watching them in the wild, but when you spend time with it like that and you learn to see how it looks at the bush and reads the bush, and I mean, it's just remarkable how, how switched on that cat is. I'm Graham Cook and been in the bush for, I think, 33 years now. When I ended up in the situation where I got handed two eight-week-old leopard cubs to Handry, I mean, it was like a dream come true, but it was highly important for me to create a bond with them. So, and it was, they were very interesting because they were completely different characters. I think what um, I used to admire the most, it's almost impossible to read their eyes and what they're thinking. And their camouflage, their ability to blend in, I think is probably the most mind-blowing because it was, it was amazing. When I was with those cubs, what used to blow me away is like, I lived with those things every day. I walked with them in the bush every single day. So you know what you're looking for. You know, you know that body shape, you know that everything about it. But what used to amaze me is like sometimes when they'd run off and I mean, not but just bouncing back because they're always around the place. So you go walking in that direction and it would be kind of on a hippo path or something. So a wide, clear, visible pathway in the bush. And I'd be looking for them. I don't know how they used to do it but they would be lying in the middle of the hippo path and you wouldn't see that animal until you luck like, right on top of it. And that always used to blow my mind. From watching them years and years and years, they still used to catch me out. I think that's what I, what I, what I admire about them. They're just a phenomenal animal and, it, and it, they, it's highly, highly intelligent. I think the best way in any area to start habituating leopards, and obviously it's got to be done on the leopard's terms completely, and it's not easy, you have to find um, a female who's had cubs and if you know where a den is, you try and get it where the mother will go hunting and then you spend time with those cubs in a vehicle and obviously at a respectful distance and you just, just wait and then over time the cubs, they're curious when they're small so they'll get familiar with a vehicle and then if you keep that up over a long period then those cubs should grow up relaxed with a car, but I mean, it depends with the mother because um, they also gauge their reaction by the mother's reaction. So if a mother's like aggressive or secretive and wants to get away or fearful, then the cubs will pick that up as well. But once you've crossed that hurdle, then that cub, as it grows up, you know, they, they become more mentally mature and they become their own character and then they will get used to the vehicle. Thanks to everyone for watching and then if you want to see more interesting stuff like that, don't forget to like and subscribe on our YouTube channel.